What good YouTube and Boofy here? We're back with another Wendy to Elite Smash. Take it away, other Boofy. Yeah, that's my cue. What's going on, YouTube? It's Boofy, Big Swole. I got six packs, 18 packs. You can't see them because the webcam blocking them. But believe me, I'm Big Swole out here. So we're jumping in to Elite Smash on my favorite game of all time. I feel sorry for the first sucker that come across me. You know, all the, yeah, I see you out there, Boofy. That's why that's Boofy one, I'm Boofy two. We come across Sheik. You know, you seen Sheik little low percent combo. Everybody everybody who plays Sheik know how to do their combo. You know, it's, it's the typical Sheik low percent combo. Sheik is that character who's gonna hit you a million times. So, you know, you just have to, you just have to understand that off the break. Understand the fact that you're going to get hit by the character because she is the neutral queen. So I, I don't let that intimidate me. I'm still, I'm still going to play my game. Once she gets you the high percents, she struggles a little bit more because her big problem is trying to get that KO. And that's why I take advantage because my character doesn't actually have a problem getting the KO. But, but this guy's just doing stuff at the cliff. You know, I'm playing my, I'm playing my game. I'm, I'm trying to outplay. I'm putting the pressure on him. You know, he, he, he's up being early. That move is pretty good. It, it, actually, it actually can be pretty annoying to uh, to challenge it. But we get the nail right there. And I go for the immediate forward smash, hoping to catch him. I don't. And I just kind of stall off the cliff for a little bit. Just to mess with his timing. So he's not, you know, you want him to stall off the cliff sometimes. Don't want to do it all the time. You don't want to be predictable. Just so your opponent can't always just like, you know, edge hog it. So he, he tries to KO me right there. I'm fully aware of the Sheik down B. Like, I'm fully aware of the usual time they, they like to use it. So it's pretty difficult to hit that on me. I'm not saying it's, a, it's not impossible, but it's pretty difficult because I, I've seen this move a million times. So, you know, he gets the uh, the back air right there and the uh, grenade kill, and that was really good by him. Uh, I think I was out of jumps right there, but it's all good. I, I go for the... Uh, the uh, jazz right there, hoping he just jumps into it like a fool. He doesn't, and uh, I'm starting to see that this guy is is not pretty. Like he's pretty patient at the clip, so I'm I'm logging that into my memory bank. But it's all good because I'm feeling to to outplay him. I, I, I'm still not worried because again, she just has a problem getting the KO. Her biggest problem getting the KO. We get the uh, KO right there with the uh, clown card dash uh, when you can't drive. Just so you know. I, I mess up my low percent combo yet again. Oh, that combo as it isn't, it's not that difficult and I, and I still keep messing up. But uh, right there, I get some I get some strong pressure off the cliff. You know, this guy is getting smixed and mixed. You know, I, I, I try to k KO him here, but I probably should have done that a little bit earlier. And, then my, and I might have got him, but it's all good because we get the KO right there. He misses his down B. Don't know why he went for it. Uh, if you ask me, he shouldn't have gone for it. I think he should have just played it safe, but you know, the guy wants to take risk, and uh, if you're gonna take risk against me, you better you, you better get that reward, cause I punish I punish bad risk. So I'm I'm third in doing my thing. He grabbed my Mecha Cooper. It's all good. I'm I'm, I'm not worried. Uh, I'm I'm really not really worried about like this matchup doesn't really it doesn't really scare me too much. But right there, ladies and gentlemen. We get the fastball. I call that the fastball because she's a fast character. So we hit her with the home run. Y'all probably didn't know that Wendy was a major league baseball player, but now you do. You know she plays for the uh, for the Atlanta Coopers. <laughs> yeah, that's the team she played for. So we're trying to so we're jumping back in, uh, trying to look for our, our our second opponent. Yeah, big swole. Yeah, we got we're one zero. Uh, just so y'all know, uh, every 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 episode is three matches. I, I try to see if I can win three matches. That's the idea. I try to get the best of three on three different, potentially three different opponents because sometimes you do run into the same opponent. And we run into yet another fast character. I said this fast character is way more annoying than the first fast character. Uh, this fast character has some range options. Uh, she has speed. She has, she's just annoying. I honestly do not like this matchup. This character is obnoxious. Uh, one of the most, yeah, right there, that move right there is such a pain in the butt. I call that the noob move because if you play Zero Two Simons, you know you're spamming the heck out of that move. 
<laughs> Let's be honest. So I, I, I messed up right there. That guy did a good job of pressuring the holy heck out of me off that cliff. Uh, so, so even though he does have the new move, he, he definitely uh, plays some zero suit because he, he's doing some zero suit, suit type stuff. Uh, he's also just doing a lot of random nonsense because he just like shoots his, I, I don't know. But I, I, I start to understand that this guy just, he can't stop moving. Which is typically what zero suit do. They just love to keep moving. Uh, especially off the cliff. Off the cliff, this guy has this thing where her, her yeah, but that right there. And I read it right there because he did it once to, he did it once on me already, and I saw it. So, uh, with me, if you're going to do something once, I'm going to assume that you're the kind of person who's going to do it again. So, I'll, I read it right there and get the fastball on him again. We call it the fastball because he's a fast character. So, if I hit you with the up breathing and you have a fast character, it's the fastball. Let's just be honest. Right here, I'm pressuring him off the cliff. For some reason, my Mecha Cooper doesn't tag him right there, but it's all good. Because I'm, I, I know I'm, I'm godlike. And, uh, you know, he's he doing zero two things, jumping around with zeres and four zeres and nares and, you know, he's throwing out backers at the cliff. Just all the really annoying stuff. I, I figured he would try to grab him right there, so I rolled behind him, and I figured he would go for the new move, which is the down beat with zero suit. And I, I tagged him right there with the uh, up beat. So, right here, I put the, uh, the cannonball in the air, hoping he just sits there like a dummy. But, of course, he won't, so I don't know why I did that. I guess that makes me the dummy, and uh, I punish him there for being way too active, and Zero Suit's jab is like negative zero on startup, so it just punishes you for everything, and again, another fastball, and I read him to do the new move, but uh, Wendy's, Wendy's freaking forward smash, man, uh, you know, Sakurai, if you, for some reason, watch my videos, and let's be honest, I know you do. If you could make, if you could fix that move so they actually hit opponents, that her four smash, I would, I would, I would gush with joy, because so many times have I done that move on reads and not get rewarded for it. So this guy is, you know, he's doing a really good job of being obnoxiously hard to tag, as well as just putting pressure on me. Like th th this matchup is really tough. Uh, is is uh, it's not. Is, is, it's not a matchup I enjoy playing. I honestly would rather play against Sheiks than Zero Suit. So, yeah, that move is really annoying. Her down B. Uh, it's invisible on startup, if you didn't know. Uh, I really think that move should have more risk than reward. But, but who am I? I'm just, I'm just Joe Blow, right? Uh, but, yeah. So, again, the guy is... He, he run around at the speed of sound. I read him to do the, the new move right there, as you saw, and I get the up air punish on. I, I do a, I do a decent job of reading that move. And right here, I'm, I'm pressuring him, and I know it. And I read the new move again, but I don't get the punish on it, and he gets behind me somehow, ladies and gentlemen, and up beat me for the KO. Can you believe it? it? It was total BS, but you know what? He got it. Good for him. That was a good game. It was a fun match. I still think I should have won that because I knew he would go for down B, but the invisibility just just it just go right through my forest mask. So I don't know. You decide who's the fool. Am I the fool for 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 knowing he would up B right there? I mean down B right there, and and it not working, or you know is he the fool for being a fool? Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, and I said it. So right here we come across my brother Lemmy. And this guy doesn't know who he's up against. Like, once, uh, one thing, you're using Bowser Jr. against the Bowser Jr. player. Uh, two, you're using the worst Bowser Jr. character. Like, let me come on, man. Really? You have so many other Bowser Jr. characters, and you went with Lemmy? Like, you could have you could have went with Morton. Morton pretty, Ludwig is pretty cool. Bowser Jr. is also really cool, too. And, of course, you had Wendy. Wendy is one of the coolest, but let me, I'm not a fan of your taste, man, you gotta say. So, I know the matchup pretty well, uh, I'm bodying this guy because I know what they, I know what this character likes to do, I, I should know what this character likes to do, I main this character, so I know you're gonna, if you're a bad Bowser Jr. player, you're probably gonna spam side B to death because you think that move is safe, but in, my, in actuality, that move is freaking bad, it's not really a good move. Uh, so right there, I try to read him to go down low, and I try to punish him for doing that, but we don't get the punish. Uh, but it's all good because this guy, it, he doesn't know that he's up against 
the Bowser Jr. player, and I'm just I'm reading all his I'm reading all his temples. Like I'm all over them guy, like right on rice. Speaking of rice, did you guys know that they got rid of the uh, the Uncle Ben of rice? Like, what's wrong with these people? Uh, actually, I, I don't think they got rid of it. I think they changed the name of it. it it's, it's just not right. I tell you, it's it's not right. Uh, but yeah, so. I, I, I'm pretty comfortable in this match. I tried to kill him right there for coming up because if you don't know, if you tag Bowser Jr. on the way up on his recovery when he's out the ship, he's uh he's very vulnerable. Uh, his recovery is pretty darn good on offense. It's terrible on defense. Again, I try to read him, but it's all good. I, I still get the uh the KO there. I'm boofy with these uploads. Thank you for watching.